What's good? I'm Wug. Floyd Mayweather versus Conor McGregor. Some think it's a farce. Some think Conor has a legitimate chance. But we could all agree that this is simply too big of a money maker not to go down. Here's the thing. If Conor McGregor boxed each of Floyd Mayweather's past 15 opponents, he would likely go 0-15 in those fights. He's not the best athlete Mayweather's fought, he's not the fastest fighter he's fought, he's not the biggest fighter Floyd's fought, and he's not even the hardest puncher Floyd's fought. The phrase being overused to make this fight interesting is that he has a puncher's chance. Well, what type of a puncher's chance does Mayweather then have? He has the highest punch connect percentage in boxing history. Even learning how to properly absorb a punch is a trained skill among professional fighters. So what happens if, or when, Mayweather begins to land flush shots and McGregor is missing with the vast majority of his punches? If we let our imaginations run wild, then yeah, McGregor will be able to bulldoze right through those punches to set up his big left hand knockout punch that everyone's waiting for. But future Boxing Hall of Famers Manny Pacquiao, Miguel Cotto, and Canelo Alvarez, who's also much bigger than Floyd, were unable to do that. So what does McGregor have that they don't? I'm not convinced that he punches harder than any one of those three fighters, let alone possess the footwork necessary to position yourself to land those punches against one of the greatest defensive fighters ever. Future Hall of Famer Shane Mosley, who has a lightning fast right hand and devastating power in both hands, almost dropped Floyd twice in the second round of their fight, but Floyd quickly recovered, adjusted, and took control of every moment of that fight from then on. For all of Mayweather's physical gifts, his mind is likely his greatest asset. With that said, here is what McGregor fans can hope for that would increase his odds. An injury to Mayweather, either in training or during the fight. Floyd is coming off by far the longest inactive period since he was a child. He's notoriously kept himself in tremendous shape when preparing for fights and even between fights prior to training camps. This nearly two year retirement period appears to be the first time he's ever taken his foot off the gas. That, coupled with Floyd being 40 years old, makes it much more likely that he'll injure himself during a rigorous training session. See, we take for granted the work that goes into one being a world-class athlete. The body becomes a trained machine, and once you shut the lights off on those muscles and the conditioning that you've been building and maintaining for decades, who's to say that you could just flip the switch back on at 40? And if he sustains an injury, unless it's something serious, the fight will likely go on because of the money at stake. Floyd Mayweather's money team would likely keep quiet about the injury and he'd tough it out, which can obviously impact his performance during the fight. Outside of injury though, anything short of Floyd hitting some physical cliff like no other, where his reflexes are suddenly shot, I just don't see the scenario where Conor will be able to hit Floyd cleanly, let alone drop or wobble him. It's also unclear who has the edge and stamina between the two, so McGregor's best, and I believe only chance, to make an impact in this fight will be in the opening 2-3 rounds. If nothing big happens by then, then history shows that Mayweather should dominate the remainder of the fight. All in all, I give McGregor about a 5-10% chance of winning, which isn't even a slight to McGregor. I think that giving him anything greater than a 10% chance of winning would be disrespectful to professional boxing, just as if I'd given boxer James Tony greater than 10% odds of beating UFC Hall of Famer Randy Couture when Tony decided to try his hand in MMA. So yes, the hype will be tremendous, the trash talk will be entertaining, and the road to this fight will capture the imagination. But I really believe that once the opening bell sounds, that I'll be watching this fight thinking, yeah, that's pretty much what 5-10% to odds look like. So let me know your thoughts. I'm Wook. Thanks for tuning in.